Uh, well, this has definitely been a train wreck of a recording, I can tell you that. It's just been plagued with bad playing and interruptions. Which is pretty much the worst thing that, you, uh, that could happen for recording, so... Uh, no one's even going to be watching this, but, you know, that's okay. I just wanted to go ahead and get it done and just have something else... Uh, to go up. So, what happened last time was, uh, we were just in this room, and the only thing that was in this room was a, uh, walking guardian, which are pretty much the hardest enemies, well, they're the hardest enemies in the game, depending on who you ask. It really is a mix-up between them and the Lionels. The Lionels are super hard, and they have tons of HP, but they won't really chase you or get in your way if you don't get in their way. So, I mean, they can notice you from, Lionels can notice you from a distance, but they won't really go out of their way to really chase you. Uh, these guys, however, the walking tanks, they'll basically, they can target you from, like, forever away and do tons of damage, so... I guess that they were expecting you to like use a horse <laughs> and to try to do get rid of him, but you know what? I mean, I have these void arrows. I mean, I have six of them. I mean, they're called ancient arrows, but I just call them void arrows because they won't saw anything. So I don't know how much more of this we have left. Uh, oh, I should also say that when I stopped recording, I also went around here and. Uh, destroyed any boxes or barrels and gathered of any supplies I saw, so I already did that. Oh boy! So, if you remember me saying that about the guardian, about the uh, walking tanks being horrible, I should also mention that we have another variety of these uh, walking tanks, which are in fact the uh, flying versions, so. You can probably clearly see, uh, <laughs> oh boy, uh, these guys just fly, and they can spot you from a pretty good distance away. Not Their, their vision isn't as good, I feel, as a normal guardian, but the problem being is that for a normal guardian, you could hide from. Once these guys get you in their sights, it's very hard to hide from them. Um, but there is good news. The good news is that, oh, hey, I can already see a chest. The good news, oh, come on, please climb up there, Link. Come on. Listen, I know you can do it. You know what, I probably don't even need to climb up to the very top here. The good news about these guys is that they, they don't have that much HP. And while it's harder to run away from them, the fact that they've that they've given us these pillars here to the fact that they've given us these little pillars to actually hide from them means that I can probably use my bomb arrows. So and of course we want to aim for the eye. Oh, that looks nice. I don't even know where he is. Hmm. Well, you know, I was saying that they have a lot of HP, but... I don't think they had that much HP. Like, come on. Uh, this is actually a little bit too easy, I feel like, because the fact that they've given us these giant pillars to hide behind, I feel like this kind of makes it a little too easy at this point. Then again, I'm just kind of wasting these arrows. So yeah, these guys look like they actually have a lot more HP than I originally thought. Problem is, is that I don't want to use a uh, 
Link, please. I. Ah! You know what? Fine. Promise is I don't want to use my void arrows. Oh, did my thing break? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can, we can use this. It's almost as powerful. The the thing is, is I don't know what else I. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just like no damage. It's like at this point, I might as well just use regular arrows. I like the battle music. It's very hectic. Does that do like no damage whatsoever? <laughs> yeah, it's like these guys are hard. Oh, hi. I was, I was. He knew I was talking about him behind his back, so he's like, "Shut up!" And he, he like threw a beam at me. But seriously, these guys are. They only become a problem when there's like more of them. I'm kind of surprised that the game didn't like throw two at me. I don't want to fly too far from this. Uh... What if I just keep doing this? How much? Oh yeah, there we go, got him. Yeah, he's, um, that's about half health right there. I mean, this isn't the most ideal situation, but I do have, like, 98 arrows. And I really can't see myself needing all those arrows in the near future. I gotta get up here fast. There we go. Oh, this is kind of dumb, but I kind of like it. There we go. I like this gyro controlling, man. It's really nice. It's really weird how Nintendo hasn't really figured out how to do this um, for any other game. It's like... I mean, let me talk about the gyro controls for a second. Because it's like, for this game... They figured it out. This is this, this was the launch game for uh, for the Switch, and they they perfected the gyro controls. I feel like so it's so it's like you have the option to use your control stick to uh, to aim if you want, but if you start to see like this, but if you start to move the controller in any way then it automatically uh, reverts to the gyro controls there we go oh he's almost dead what am I doing uh you know I can probably just end up killing him with this thing would be pretty funny Whoa, hold on, why am I using fire arrows? There's no need for that. What, you're running away? <laughs> why is he running away? Yeah, it's like Nintendo, like, they perfected it with this game. It really is something like, you can use your control, your control stick to aim if you feel comfortable that way. But as long, but if you start moving your... Uh, your controller in any like major direction, then it automatically switches over to the gyro controls, which is gyro, gyro. I don't, I don't know what it is. Who cares? But you know what I'm saying, right? You, you know what I'm talking about. So I think that's really nice. But the problem is, is that they haven't perfected that like, for any other game. It's always like. You die already, please? There we go. I think it's dead. Yep. 
That's why I really love about this game. These controls are so good. But Nintendo really hasn't uh, figured that out for anything else. Okay, now that we have that guy taken care of, we can go to the center thing and hopefully try to get this chest. Like for example, if you, if you don't want to know what I'm talking about, let's take us uh, let's take Splatoon 2. Uh, Splatoon 2 obviously came out after this game, and I guess they're not really made by Nintendo, but still the same thing can apply. Is that you have to use? Is that the game doesn't let you choose to use both control stick aiming or gyro aiming. It's, it's either like you have to use one or the other. And while I admit that gyro controlling, well, like gyro aiming is beneficial most of the time, sometimes you don't want to like move your control stick in a dumb way to aim. Sometimes you just want to line up your shots with a uh, with a uh, with a control with a control stick because you know you're going to get a better shot that way. But uh, Splatoon 2 doesn't do that. You have to either you have to pick one, and you have to change styles. And that really that's really stupid. I really hate that. Hey, right, look! I got some of my bomb arrows back. That's not that nice. Didn't really do much against that fight because I just had, I just ended up using regular arrows. Now I could have taken care. Of, yeah, but oh, I'm sorry. I, I should finish my thoughts first. Um. But yeah, that's that's just something off the top of my head that really kind of pisses me off. The fact that Splatoon 2 is like, oh, sorry, you can only choose to uh, to use your uh, to use control stick aiming for the entire match or the gyro controlling for the whole match. And you know, people who are using gyro controlling are gonna have much better aiming than you, so you better choose that. Okay, well, why can't we have the same thing where? I can use control stick aiming like this, but if I need to, I can I can aim with my controller. Why can't I do that? It's like this game had it perfectly figured out and nobody's taking notes from it. Nobody is taking notes from it. I don't understand. Like come on guys, what are you doing? Alright. What floor is this? I don't I wasn't even paying attention. What what floor were we on? I don't know. It looked like that was the only thing there. Is my sound recording alright? Is my sound sound recording? Yeah, it's recording alright. Let's make him sure. Uh, we have some more flying guys. Well, we have some more fly boys over here. Underground floor 22. Oh, I see we have a combination of Flying guys and walking tanks. Oh. I see they also gave us some horses over here. Thinking that I'm going to use a horse to fight one of those walking tanks. You want me to walk down Sesame Street without a bulletproof vest? Get out of here. Alright. What is that guy's patrol like? Alright. Uh, yeah, he probably just saw me, didn't he? Yeah, he saw me. That was really dull on my end. Actually, if I, I, oh, I, can, I can actually hide in here. Look at that! <laughs> Void arrows? No, a royal bow, though. It's not bad. But in this case, I'm, uh... Can I bring that towards me? No? Hi. <laughs> I like how it pauses in midair, like it pauses the world, but the fans are still, uh, moving. Yeah, you keep doing that, man. Oh god, now I'm targeted by the stupid fly. The fly boy over here. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll use the ain't. You know what? Maybe I'll use the ancient arrow. 
Yeah, that might be actually fun. I'll use an ancient arrow on on the flying guy, but I'll take out the tank. Uh, with something. Twenty two. Yeah, we'll 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 try that. You know, we'll actually try that. Cause I I didn't fight the other tank fairly, so. We'll wait for him to, to come around. I'll shoot a void air at him. We'll take him out. Oh, suit. You know, this falls under the category of Link not wanting me to do what I'm. Do you see? Do you see this? He'd rather climb the. He'd rather climb the stupid ceiling than let me uh, do what I want. There we go. <laughs> I wanted to be extra sure I got that uh I got that sawed off. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna do the same thing, but we're not gonna use a void arrow. We'll just use a regular arrow. Do I say regular wheel weird? I feel like I do. The best way to get a response on the internet is to say something wrong. Um, oh yeah, look at that, he's still active, so... Best way to deal with these guys is if you're not fighting them, if you want to fight them for real, is I guess I'll show you the way, because fighting them normally is actually really cool, so... This is how you do it. Uh, can I get... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I did not see that guy up there. Oh. Mmm. This kind of throws a wrench in my plans a little bit. Uh. Huh. Make a run for it. We're gonna make a run for it right here. I didn't know that guy was up there. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Had no idea. All right, that guy, that guy over there, the the tank is looking right at me. So we'll find him in just a second. For now, we do, we gotta deal with this guy. Uh, I can I can easily climb up there. Yeah, let's go ahead and take him out. This, these little, they aren't the normal sentries. They're like advanced sentries, kind of. Uh, I don't want to be using this. I think. That saying that, it's not like it's in the uh Yeah. Saying that it's not really not any different than finding a normal Oh, can I freeze this guy? Nope. <laughs> I cannot freeze him. This dragon bone club is actually really good. Well, it's about to die right now. Yep. Uh. I don't want to use up that. You know what? We'll we'll go ahead and we'll do this. about elemental weapons in this game that's kind of weird the spiked 
Dragon Bone Club is donezo. That's the thing about the elemental weapons is that their elemental powers get used up and they kind of recharge if you look at the sword. But the way that they recharge is actually really cool because it actually kind of like it fills up a little meter on the sword itself, which is really awesome. I li really like that. All right. Um, now <laughs> we can go back to our regularly scheduled broadcast and uh, take out this guy. Actually, we're in a perfect position to, to do so. Yeah, you do that, man. There we go. Take out one leg. Take out another leg. And I think we're screwed. Yeah, we're screwed. Uh, let's eat some food here before we completely screw ourselves over. You know what? We can go ahead and do this. Why not? I mean, we have four fairies, but... Screw you, man. So, as you can see, this is the way to actually take care of him. You have to cut off his legs, which is pretty fun, actually, because every time you do so, it has, like, a giant reaction to it. Thunderblade's about to die, though. Yep, there it goes. Best part about cutting off his legs is that he can't run away. Because that, that's how they get you, you know? this You can stun these guys by hitting them in the eye, obviously, but they move around so sporadically that that they uh they move around so so sporadically that you can it's really hard to hit them. And actually, you know what? I'll just finish I'll just finish them off with arrows. I don't want to waste this. I don't want to waste my weapons. I really don't have that much weapons. So yeah, that's that's how they get you. You think oh this will be easy? I'll just I'll just shoot him in the eye and stun him. Well, they think they, they know about that, so they like they move to the left and right really sporadically, and it's really hard to hit their eye. So that's why you gotta cut off their legs. And credit to the game, cutting off their legs is really fun because look at them. <laughs> he's just got he's just got a a blasted to the side. Because every time you you cut off his leg, it's just like. One leg gone. Another leg gone. It's really awesome. But of course, those are the type of guys you fight with with the Master Sword. Because when you're fighting with the Master Sword, uh, Master Sword activates when there's evil nearby. And those are apparently controlled by evil. So Master Sword becomes its full strength. But I guess the point of this trial is to make it so that the Master Sword is always at its full strength, so... There you go. That's how you do it. You gotta fly up to it. Set one, you gotta fly up to it and... Um... Go slow motion with the, uh... With the bow and arrows. Because obviously, if you don't do the slow motion... It becomes much harder to hit. So you gotta do the first shot with the slow motion. And it's also important to remember that even if he does hit you with his little beam power, to not be discouraged because normally they're in these little grassy fields like this and they hit you with the beam. Oh, nice. Got some more food. They're going to set fire to the surrounding area and that's going to create an updraft. And if you float up on the updraft, then you can shoot him in midair with slow motion again. Why can you only go slow motion in the air? I don't know. It's just a mechanic in the game. Never, it was never really explained, to be honest. It was just, oh, hey, you, you can do this. You can go slow motion if you're in the air by firing an arrow. Why? I don't know. Uh, so I already got two chests in this area, right? One inside the 
area and one on top. Yeah. All right. So this I feel like was kind of like the final thing. I bet you were gonna have like a a, a Lionel, like two Lionel fights, <laughs> which I'm definitely gonna use a Void Arrow for one. Uh, yeah. I guess that's everything for the houses. I don't think there's anything else in them, so. Alright, let's move on. Seriously, I can't believe that they want us me to use a horse to fight that guy. No way. Yeah, step one, fly up to him and use slow motion. Step two, cut off his legs one by one. Step three, is that he's going to become motionless and, uh, can't do anything. 